The National Identity Management Commission on Monday shut down its office in Lagos as a result of a large crowd who gathered earlier for their name registration. Iseme Omokai has the details. Hundreds of Lagos residents gathered at NIMC office for their national identity number registration following the NCC directive that their SIM cards will be blocked without the identity number. However, most of the people who gathered at Alausa office were either not wearing face masks or not observing physical distancing, thereby flouting the protocol that were put in place by the government. This led to the shutdown of its office to avoid COVID-19 spread. The whole thing, when I heard it last week, it was like I was like off, or off my feet. I didn't really expect, how can somebody just give a deadline of uh, registering your SIM on the 16th and by 30th your line will be blocked if you're not registered on the national identification uh, platform or whatever. When I came here this morning and see the crowd, I said, wow, is this what I'm go I will go through? But when I let I heard that I have postponed it, I'm glad over it. At least it will give a lot of people time to come out and register. Because this rush to register so that they will not cut your SIM card is another stress to humanity. And I would not like to go undergo it. This decision taken as a means to adhere to the COVID-19 protocols. As the country battles with the pandemic, the news that the dates have been extended came as a support to the last minute registrants. I feel happy. I thank God. I feel so happy for them to have more months for us. I feel happy. I mean, it makes a whole lot of sense that the Senate, they postponed the whole issue. I am so, so happy. Several concerned Nigerians expressed their concern over the sudden directive of the federal government and had asked that the deadline given for the registration be extended. Now that the exercise is extended, it is hoped that many will no longer be laid back only to engage in fire brigade. Reporting for Plus TV Africa, Isemi Omohai. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.